Uh, this video is about you being the karma. You are the karma in all these niggas, to all these niggas. Now, I remember when I was talking about how um, the veil is being lifted, it's already being, it's already being shown and shit like that. It's already just going to keep getting worse and worse for these niggas and how their higher self is fucking them up and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's strictly towards the chosen ones. I, 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 it's not towards really anybody else. I'm telling you for narcissistic people, their higher self is fucking them up about you, chosen ones. It's not really fucking them up about anybody else, really. If I'm keeping it real, because they not, I, I don't know why. I do know why. It's because they're not the chosen ones. Like, it just is, okay? It, that's how it is. It's only fucking them up about the chosen ones. This is why they keep thinking about you. They're not really thinking about anybody else, because they do evil shit to plenty of people. They don't think about it, but they think about you. Okay, thinking about you as the chosen one and it's fucking them up harder and harder every day. Okay, that's what's going on right now. Now, I did make this video a few days ago. I think it was like three or four days ago. Okay, and what had happened was the reason why, what inspired me to even make this video. Okay, because I'm going to talk about certain things that I have experienced that's true in facts. See what I'm saying? That I experienced. And I'm not going to go too deep into details, but I'm just going to tell you, like, the main point I'm trying to get to. Okay, so, like, three days ago, I think three days ago, two, three, three or four days ago, I had woken up from a dream. And, like, I woke up that morning, and I had a, in that dream, like, the past dream, you know how you have, like, five fucking dreams, or three, three, four dreams in one fucking night? <laughs> the last dream I had, when I actually woke up, and it's not even a dream, it's really astral projection, all that shit is ash. I'm on a level now where I'm just astral projecting at nighttime, bro. I'm not having dreams no more. It's real life astral projecting the messages and shit. So what had happened was in that last dream, okay, understand this was a this part that I'm saying was in the dream, okay? Cause I didn't explain this shit well in the other video. The that I deleted. I made the same video, but I had to delete it, okay? In the dream, a bitch, okay, from the past. Okay, I ended up realizing that this bitch, okay, was trying to lace me, okay, trying to lace me up with drugs, trying to like lace me up, and the the thing about that is, is that shit, she was told by certain niggas to try to do that shit to me, you know what I'm saying, she was told to try to do that shit to me, and the person who had confirmed it in my dream was one of the people that was there at the time. So I'm saying, and I don't fuck with that other person that I'm talking about. It's a female. But she told me, yo, this person was trying to lace you. You know that? That's what happened in that dream. She told me that. And then I remember talking to this person one night, one time. And then we had a moment in that shit that was talking to on the phone. And there was an actual moment back then where it was like, like, <laughs> there was a situation going on in it. She was telling me about that other person talking with somebody, okay, with somebody, and in that time, that same time I was talking, that was pro that was the time they was telling that other person to come to try to lace me. And that same, so this actually is crazy because I was FaceTiming, not FaceTiming, but on the phone. I think yes, FaceTiming on the phone with this person talking about something, but. That other person, she was telling telling me that this per other person talked to somebody, okay. And I don't think this person I was talking to on Facetime was in on this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I personally don't think so. Truthfully, to be true, like even though I don't fuck with that person, I personally don't think so, okay. But maybe so, nigga, maybe so, <laughs> because this person is the one that told me this shit in this in this actual projection in this dream, okay. But either way, like the point being, nigga. Those that a nigga, the nigga, some nigga was trying to tell that bitch in his dream, in his actual projection to lace my ass. Now, mind you, this shit actually happened in the, like the actual phone call was in real life. Like this shit happened a long time ago when, when I was actually talking to this person and she, this actually happened. But I didn't know that they were, I didn't know anything about what they was talking about. But I've been thinking like from what I've learned, from what I learned in real life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let, let me slow down because I feel like I'm confusing niggas. Okay, so let me just start over, okay? In in this in this 
dream and his and dream and his ash dream right in his dream this person was telling me how that other bitch tried lacing me up with drugs that's what that was just that that was all that was about and then she said and then she said specifically you remember that time when we was on FaceTime? i think that was the time when those niggas was trying to tell her to do that shit okay that was this that, that was the thing okay and that was it that was it at the end of the dream and i was thinking about that and i woke up i was like yo what the fuck because the answer came to me, nigga. Now, I was already thinking like that. I was like, yo, this person probably... Because I remember hitting that shit, that blunt that time. And I was gone, nigga. And like two hits. You know what I'm saying? And it was not normal, nigga. It wasn't normal. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling nigga, that, yo, dude, like, yo, that shit ain't normal. Okay, but point being, okay? Because I remember doing that and I was... Like, it was to the point that I was actually like... Low key hallucinating, nigga. Low, low, low almost, nigga. And I'm like, yeah, I was hallucinating, but not like, like to the point where I'm like going crazy. But I was like gone as fuck for a long ass time. <laughs> okay, so that was that was. So when she told me that, that was in the dream. Okay, that was in the fucking dream. Now in real life, what had actually happened was, I really like that. Actually, like I actually did speak to her. <laughs> this time one time. Okay, and this is not somebody I liked or anything. It was just a person that, like, a homegirl or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And she was telling me about this shit. You know what I'm saying? She was telling me about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, she was just talking. And then that same situation actually happened that she was saying that, like, the other person was talking to some niggas or some shit like that. Okay? But I didn't even think, I didn't really think about that shit at all. Like, I was just talking to the person. You know what I'm saying? So, fast forward in real life, okay? Now, this is where this actually, this is where, because I'm going to connect this shit with the karma, okay? Because this is a, it actually goes deep, okay? In real life now, real life, okay, what had happened was those same niggas, okay? The, I truly know now for a fact because of that dream that that shit was true. <laughs> and also another situation happened. You know what I'm saying? So now this is where these niggas, specific niggas, get in, in who I'm going to talk about now. Okay, I remember I told you these niggas, certain you niggas use witchcraft. Nigga, certain niggas was already planning to try to lace me up in the city, and they already knew who to target. They already knew to target me, but they was acting like it was cool and all that shit. One of them niggas, I went to their high school with. This nigga was like, "Yo, what's up, bro?" Like, nigga, I was like, I transferred to that school, so this was a long time ago. I transferred to that school, like he was acting cool, trying to act like he fuck with me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He even told me about, like, he was talking about, yo, I be getting high as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be getting so high, like, I, I wish I could come back. He was saying these things to me, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, after that event happened that I told you where I did hit a blunt from this, these niggas, and I was tweaking as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And that same bitch tried to do some other demonic shit to me, okay? Other shit, but it, nigga, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Karma's already getting in your ass, and it's gonna get me worse. But that same nigga, okay, he said that when I came back from, remember that time I was telling you about I was hitting that blunt? Okay, the next time I seen, I went like it was like I think a, a day after that shit, I think two days after that shit, I went back to school. You know what I'm saying? I seen that nigga, and he was looking at me, he looked at me shocked. Like, he looked at me like, nigga, dude, how is this nigga not laced right now? How is this nigga still, how is he not fucked up? He, he gave me a look, he did. And now I realize that's what he was probably thinking about. Like, how is this nigga not laced? <laughs> how is this nigga not fucked up right now? See what I'm saying? Now, <laughs> now here's where things get interesting, okay? Fast forward to the present, okay? Fast forward to the present. And the, the, the reason why... So basically, when I was with that bitch and, and them other those two people, those two bitches, because they are bitches, that I went, we went to a party, okay, and they, before that shit, they, they got high and then they went to a party, okay, and that's why, I, that, and I was tweaking that whole time in that party, okay, but when, it, but that was just that, so you can understand the background of the story, all that shit. I don't want to go too deep into the shit, okay, because it's not that important. But fast forward to the future. Remember when I told you I just got guys, I just hit this blunt. This recent blunt that my family members was doing witchcraft because I'm considering that witchcraft. 
because you guys are trying to attempt to throw me in jail. They're trying to use that shit to throw, get me laced up so I can get a DUI and go to jail so I could learn my lesson not to be smoking weed and shit. <laughs> they, but they damn near cost me my life and they was when they found out all the charges I picked up, they was not going to bail my ass out. You know what I'm saying? And when I got out, because they didn't pay for the shit, they still ain't going to pay every month for the shit that they cost. So I'm never speaking to y'all ever again in my fucking life. I guys, I know I keep saying this shit. <laughs> but I'm not, I got to keep saying it. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny. Because they keep watching my videos. So I, I'm going to keep saying this shit constantly so they can make sure that they see this. Because <laughs> then they come around me, I will involve the police, nigga. So I can get them in trouble. But the point is, now fast forward to the future. When I got, when I hit that lace blunt and I was in that state, when I got arrested by the police, I'm saying, I told you guys in the other state, in real life, I was acting retarded and it was actually real life police officers getting my ass. They tased me and they lined me, put me in handcuffs and put me in the car. But in the other state, my family members knew how to be in that other state and they knew how to be in those police officers' bodies and speak to me in those police officers' body. But they thinking I'm not. I'm just going to think. When I come back, I'm going to think I was tweaking and some shit. Maybe they didn't even realize that because the thing that the ET niggas did to my mind would make me understand everything more clearly. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe if it was like a regular nigga who, who they did that with, they wouldn't understand all this shit that clearly. You know what I'm saying? Because of the thing that ET... I don't know, nigga. But when I was in that state, <laughs> when I was actually in that state... It was talking like out and I was looking at him like what the fuck? Yo, you niggas is behind this shit. That's why I was and my mom and them was all saying talking. It was in the police officers' bodies. They kept on jumping to different bodies and shit, different people's bodies and shit while I was in that state. And I was in that state for like four, four days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's how hot that's how much that shit affected my shit. You know what I'm saying? And it was constantly doing different shit. You know what I'm saying? I, like I told y'all, they even taught me how to break into a handcuffs. I'm going to break out of handcuffs. And I'm, I'm going to say that shit, speak on that shit afterwards because that's important in this video too. You know what I'm saying? But when I was in that state, okay? <laughs> okay, when I was in that state, that high state, you know what I'm saying? When I was in that, when the police officer caught me and arrested me, my family members, was, like, I was living in the other state. I wasn't in real life, so don't worry about real life. In the other state, I was like... Because that's why I was acting crazy and shit. I was literally trying to run away from the police officers doing all type of weird shit. Because I'm hearing black people speaking and shit. It was weird, nigga. And everything was just different and weird. So I'm trying to get out of there because I'm thinking I'm just trying to kill me, nigga. <laughs> that's what I'm fucking thinking. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, I'm really thinking the police officers are not real life police officers. So when they got me and arrested my ass, my family members started talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, yeah, what up now? When I when, when I was running away, <laughs> these niggas was like, yeah, what up now, nigga? <laughs> Type shit. That's why they were, that's why I was saying. I was like, yeah, what the fuck going on, nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> and then when I when they when they got me, they tased me. Then they was telling me to say certain things while they was tasing me. You know what I'm saying? And then while they was tasing me on the floor, and I was saying it because I was listening to it. I was like, yo, what the fuck going on? Because I'm already high and shit. I'm already gone. I'm saying what they're telling me to say. And then when I when it was teasing me, I got up. They were like, yeah, that's, you don't feel that shit, right? Because they're doing part of their shit that they're doing. I don't know what the fuck. They're playing this whole shit out. And I'm like, nah, I don't feel this. I'm getting teased. My body's stiffing up. I didn't feel shit. You know what I'm saying? So when he took me up and put me in the car, one nigga who I knew who I was copping weed from, another nigga who I was copping weed from. Now, this ain't the nigga who laced me. You know what I'm saying? This is just one nigga that was copying weed from. <laughs> I heard his voice. He was looking. He was wondering. He was in up. He 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 was like speaking through the police. I don't know what they was. That's why I say it was witchcraft and voodoo and shit like that. Because they was talking out of all these police. And this picture police officers talking, but it's your family members talking through them. You know what I'm saying? And they knew how to do this. They're not going to teach me and they're not going to admit this shit, but that's what they was doing. And this ain't no hallucination. This ain't none of that. Because I've proven to them what they was doing, they even, my parents even came into my apartment and shit and do started moving shit around, trying to do shit. They, 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 they made it so obvious that when I was exposing everything they, they was doing, that they did, my parent, my mom had no answers. She, like, she actually had a shocked ass reaction. Like, How the fuck you know all this shit? You was supposed to be gone, nigga. <laughs> but nigga, that's why I don't, that's why they, they know I'm right there. You know what I'm saying? So don't think I'm, all this shit was just me tweaking because it wasn't, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But when I was in, 
when I was in, and I could prove this, when I was, in, once they got me into the car, you know what I'm saying? They taught me how to break out of handcuffs. <laughs> okay. Now, this might not work for you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to probably go through this whole shit that they did. It's just like you have to go into that other state first. It's like it makes you go into a state so this will work on you. But they told me to do something with my fingers. Like pull one down like this and put another one up. You know what I'm saying? And then when I was doing that. So, for example, I put this thumb down and I put the other thumb up. You know what I'm saying? While I'm in handcuffs. And it's behind my back. And then, like, this is what, this is what one of the niggas who I was copying weed from, he's like a friend, who I was copying weed from, was saying. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said, bro, pull one hand down and pull another one up. And then I did it. While, but he's like a police officer, but he's speaking through their, their fucking body. And I was doing it. And my hands were behind my back. And I was doing that. And then the cuffs started getting tighter and tighter. When I was doing that, the cuffs started getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And then I just... He, then he said, just now pull it. They, they told me this, something like pull it. And then I pulled it and it broke. You know what I'm saying? It literally broke. <laughs> and, while I was in, and then the police officers started driving off. <laughs> so I broke out my handcuffs. Okay. And that's important because I'm going to say another thing. Okay. Now this same friend who, 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 who told me to do this shit also said something. Now I had other family members saying certain shit. Okay. Also, and one of them, one of them, one of them niggas, okay, one of them niggas, was, like, he was a nigga from, from fucking, from, from Chicago, nigga, and I didn't even know I had family members in Chicago, but he was one of them, okay, but I'm not gonna go too deep into that shit, you know what I'm saying, but the nigga, the nigga, right, one of the friends, the same nigga that told me how to break out the handcuffs, said, said, now tell him why so-and-so Got shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, this is a nigga from... This is a nigga who Ron King... That's why I keep mentioning this nigga. But this not even why. Because I was fucking with this nigga before. But he said this... Tell, tell him why so-and-so got shot. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to see some of these niggas' documentary. I ain't gonna lie. I was watching some of these niggas' documentary. Like, I watched Bond documentary and shit. Because the shit was just... Like, and then, you know, you know, black niggas be into interesting shit. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Black niggas be watching shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> watching the gang man and shit like that, like who killing who and who doing this and who doing that, not for the fucking sense of it is interesting, nigga. I just want to see what what's going on with who and who, nigga. It's just the truth. That's what we do, nigga. You know what I'm saying that's what we're gonna watch. If, like we want to know what's going on. Like yo, this person did this and kill who, who. That's what we just gonna watch, bro. So when he said that, he said, "Tell him what so and so got shot." You know what I'm saying once he said that shit. Then I instantly knew what, what the fuck was going on. He said, same why, who, why, what? Because this is one of the niggas that Vaughn killed. Now, this same friend has the same fucking mannerisms as that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He he has the same mannerism as this nigga Vaughn. Now, he's not not in the sense that he's trying to copy the nigga, but he just, like, he always reminded me of that nigga. And the thing that these niggas was trying to do with this whole voodoo shit and witchcraft shit. And they were trying to tell me that I was going to be some other person. Not be, but they knew. I, that's what I tell you niggas, bro. Like, I don't want to go too deep into this shit, but because it's just, you're not going to understand it. It's just going to sound weird and crazy. Like, I'm hallucinating and shit. Like, I was hallucinating. But I'm not doing what they were trying to tell me to do. That's just, so if they're watching this, I'm not going to do that shit. I'm not interested in doing that shit. You know what I'm saying, but. He said that shit, okay? He said, tell him why this nigga got shot, okay? And this was a nigga that Vaughn had killed. The name he said was a nigga that Vaughn killed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to keep this understanding. Just bear with me. I know she's going to confusing. But he said, tell me why. So, tell him. Because I thought that same person. Because I was watching the documentary. And they, like I said, they hacked into my phone at the time. They don't they probably not hacked into my shit anymore. Because I changed up all that shit. But I used to see some of that shit. And I, this one person, I'm like, why this nigga, why he killed this nigga? This nigga didn't do, he didn't look like he did anything. The whole time, the nigga that he killed, that people think is an innocent person. And you guys could go, you guys will probably end up finding this out. But people who, the guy, the kid, who they think, he wasn't even a kid. He was like, I'm not going to say any more details. But he was, he the person who he killed. He killed that person because that same person was trying to do something to me ultimately. And that connects with these same niggas who was trying to lace me up at this party and shit. 
he told that bitch to lace me up. So when he said that, I instantly remember, like, yo, that's probably these niggas who was trying to get this bitch to lace me up. You know what I'm saying? And then that same person that Vaughn had shot in the fucking head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shot this nigga in the head. You know what I'm saying? And niggas think he's an innocent person. His family member was probably trying to do some witch food work. I don't know what they was on, but I knew it connected with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you, these niggas know how to do make me jump into two different bodies. Like, I guess I have two bodies on this earth, and I can jump it from this person doing whatever ritual these niggas was going to probably do to me in the future if I was interested, but I'm not going to be interested in any of that to make me go into that other person and bring other body. So Vaughn did the same shit, and nigga, that nigga ain't dead. I think that's the same nigga who was the friend who I was copping weed from. He knew how to jump in. Because he's the person that said it, and he reminded me a lot of this nigga for some reason, nigga. Like, naturally, I always used to think, like, yo, this nigga kind of remind me of this nigga, but I never really, like, thought about it until when I seen that shit, when he said that shit, nigga, that shit was crazy. And he's the same person who taught me how to broke out of my cuffs. You know what I'm saying? Now, this connects. If you search up on YouTube, <laughs> uh, King Von beat up or on on Reddit you could go on Reddit King Von beat up 051 freaky okay you can go on Reddit and search that up he he went and he broke out of his handcuffs you know what I'm saying in in uh, the bullpen in jail like he was in jail like every all the niggas was in that one bullpen one like cell like a bunch of niggas there and he went he went to his friend and he, he hid behind his friend and he broke out his handcuffs and he went and go beat up that nigga you know what I'm saying he beat up this dude for having like a tattoo on his hand or some shit. That nigga, he didn't just break out his hand from a, a pig or any stupid shit like that. That nigga did voodoo, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That nigga did voodoo. The same shit I did. You know what I'm saying? I, that's the same shit he did, nigga. So when I seen that, and I seen that same video before I, this happened. So when he did that shit, I, I instantly thought about that shit too. I'm like, yo, when I was in my cell, too, I'm like, yo, this nigga was doing that shit. This how this nigga broke out those handcuffs? You know what I'm saying? Because... From, from the interviews that I was watching, I ended up searching that shit up. Like, uh, niggas talking about, like, I seen Rico Reckless. He was explaining. He, this nigga doesn't even know what he's talking about. He's like, yo, you can break out the handcuffs if you got leeway. He was just making shit up to make it seem like he knew about this shit. But he, niggas just, like, lying in interviews. He don't even know anything. He, he don't even know that this nigga did voodoo. He did, literally did voodoo. When he put him in the handcuffs, he did voodoo, nigga. That's how he broke out them handcuffs, nigga. So Vaughn and them be doing that shit too. His family, this voodoo niggas, niggas <laughs> doing that shit in Chicago, nigga. I've even seen a video a long time ago, like as a suggestion. It said how how gang gang how gang bangers gangsters be using <laughs> gangsters be using voodoo, witchcraft to kill the ops. That was like the title of the video. And it was in, it was like how Chicago gang bang members use witchcraft to kill their ops. And I was saying, I didn't even watch the video. I could, I'm probably gonna watch it after this shit. But I, I remember seeing that shit. And then I seen this nigga. This nigga taught me how to break out my handcuffs. And that nigga remind. So that I believe that nigga wrong, whatever. I believe that's the same fucking person, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just knew he just knew how to be at two places at one time. Like how they was trying to tell me I was gonna be this other person who I'm not interested in doing this shit. That's what my family man was telling me, okay? And I guess they're going to know how to do some shit to make me go into that other body. It's literally going to use voodoo to make me do, go into another body. But I'm not doing any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not interested in any of that shit, okay? But I ha I know it sounds crazy, but nigga, it's the fucking truth. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Only the few will actually understand that I'm not fucking around when I'm saying this shit. But they, this is not, we're not done yet, okay? So... That's proof that what I'm saying is the truth. Because that nigga Vaughn did not do break out them handcuffs. You know what I'm saying? He did not break out them handcuffs just by breaking it out. Oh, yeah, bro. He did voodoo, nigga. And the only way you can even do what I just told you how to do it is by doing the ritual first. They literally put me through that whole ritual <laughs> first, nigga. And I was in that, that flow state in that different dimension. So to do it, you're going to have to be in that dimension and actually do that shit. You know what I'm saying? And he did that shit. You know what I'm saying? And they were doing other shit in jail. They gave me my family, my mom. They gave me something. They said, hey, do this shit. And then, hey, drink this. It was, it was weird, bro. They was in different bodies, but they was doing certain shit. And they was speaking through them. And it was telling me to do certain shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Because I didn't even think any of this shit. I didn't even think the jail shit was real. The whole time I was actually in jail, nigga. But they was in, knew how to do different shit. 
in that state without getting caught because it was in different in a different state, nigga. <laughs> but in the real life state, the police officers they had no clue what the fuck was going on. They thought I was just tweaking. But they knew how to be in the other state and do all this all type of shit in that state. Now, what I'm trying to get to is the reason why that other nigga got shot, nigga, and killed, which is what he get. Because at first, when I seen that, I felt so bad. I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga killed this nigga for you. Like, this nigga is supposed to be innocent. But he wasn't. And that same nigga that he killed, right? I looked at his face, and it looked a lot like the brother. Remember the nigga who I told you I, I was at went to school? And the nigga was... He, they told him, the, the bitch to try to lace me. You know what I'm saying? That bitch X or whatever looks like the nigga. Looks like the same nigga. So I, maybe them niggas is doing voodoo or some shit too. Or witchcraft too. I think that's what they were doing. I think that's probably what they were doing. Those probably, I think they were using witchcraft. Now, my, really my family members really was trying to use voodoo. I'm just saying it was witchcraft because they pissed me the fuck off. And they didn't want to pay for shit that they did. And they almost got me killed, nigga. It's fucking stupid. But it's really, it was really voodoo what they were doing. I'm just saying it's witchcraft because I don't like them right now, nigga. <laughs> so I'm just saying that shit. But it's really voodoo what they were doing, nigga. And they laced me up with some shit. Like, it's fucking stupid. But that's really what it was. It wasn't witchcraft. Like, it really wasn't, nigga. But I just don't like them. And they had a dark agenda behind it. So, like, nigga, leave me the fuck alone. Don't try to tell me what to do. So that's why I'm saying it was witchcraft. So that's why I'm saying that, okay? But that same nigga, his brother, the nigga who I went went to that same school with, his older brother looked exactly like the person Vaughn shot. But he's not, he didn't look exactly like him, but he looked somewhat like him. So I remember just looking at that same person, Seen that dog, man, I was like, this person looked real familiar for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Then I remembered this other person. I'm like, oh, shit. Yo, these people are probably related to this nigga, to these niggas. Because they, they're from Chicago, too. The nigga who I was, who, who, who niggas was trying to, the niggas here who was trying to lace me, they were from Chicago, too, nigga. And now he was telling me all about that shit, too. He was, he was having conversations and shit. But he was, he had a dark plan and a dark agenda. Now, when I came back, from, like I said, when I came back from school, this nigga, I remember, and he also blocked me one time. He ended up blocking me. Like, I remember he he, he looked like bitter, dad. It didn't work when I came back, and I wasn't racist. He looked bitter as fuck, nigga. He looked mad as fuck. That he, but I didn't understand at the time, nigga. I was like, and then he blocked me. I'm like, what the fuck? Him and his fucking friend, his cousin or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga blocked me, nigga. All right, whatever the fuck. Come to find out that these niggas were related to them. That's why Bond shot that nigga, nigga. That's why he killed him. In the future, I'm going to have to delete a lot of these videos, bro. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop talking about this shit. I'm just going to have to delete a lot of videos. But that's why he got shot, nigga. And then I looked at the same nigga, and he, he looked exactly like... If I showed you guys the picture of these two people, you would think, yo, this nigga is actually on or something. But I'm just explaining it. And I know for a fact this is what happened. And another another nigga from there who was speaking when I was in that other state, and you know how I said I got arrested by police and I was sitting in the car and they talked show me out of another nigga who was there, nigga was a friend of Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? He was a friend of him. And he was like, and, he, and I used to watch a lot of his videos. He was talking stories and shit and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, he, I, he, he literally was like, I, I seen it. <laughs> he said, I was waiting for him to respond in one of my videos. Like, he thought I was going to say some slick shit in his <laughs> in his video so he could get mad and, and get on my ass or some shit. But I wasn't going to do that. But he, that's, I remember he said that. He's like, I was waiting for him to say some shit in my video. <laughs> now, that nigga's a big ass nigga. But he does, I guess he's a, I'm related to him. But I didn't even know that. But he, I'm not, I have an older brother. You know what I'm saying? I have a, he's really technically my uncle. But he's like three years older than me, so I call him my older brother. He reminded me a lot of that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I used to watch a lot of his videos, and not just that. Um, it just was interesting the stories that he was talking about. But I always had a thought in my head that like, yo, this nigga remind me a lot of my brother. But I didn't even think about it. And then when I got back, when I was in that state, he said that I was like, what the fuck? And I, <laughs> I, I knew instantly that was who he was because he said I was waiting for him to say something. And then I was, and then my my my. My dad, my stepdad, he said, yo, this nigga recognizes his people and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. And then my sister and them, my fucking annoying ass fucking sister, she's older than me. You know what I'm saying? She was laughing at my ass and shit. They was like literally 
they was laughing and clowning my ass. They was, she was laughing <laughs> because <laughs> I don't watch this other woke YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't even watch his content like that. I just like some of his videos and shit. When I was watching some of his videos and him, my mom, her and my mom was laughing about the, sh the woke shit that I was watching because these niggas don't fuck with that shit. But then, nigga, you gonna lace me up with shit? But that's what I, just just to help you understand what I'm talking about, so you don't think I'm saying just random shit like I'm hallucinating. Cause I wasn't hallucinating. I was completely aware of what the fuck was going on. And this is that state was weird. You know I'm saying, and they knew how to be in that state. Like they was making this shit so obvious to me. You know what I'm saying, and that nigga who I told you who taught me how to do it, he's the one that told me, yo, this. He when, when it was the last time my sister and them were laughing, that same nigga. And he said, say, tell him why so-and-so got shot. You know what I'm saying? And when he said that, I was like, what the fuck? Because the name he said, I, I, I knew who he was talking about. And then it was about this nigga. And then the same, one of his friends, one of Vaughn's friends was right there. <laughs> but he was, he, he wasn't appearing as, actually, he was just using with voodoo to be in these other police officers' bodies it's to be spot speaking. So then when I wake up from that shit, they was like, oh, now nah, you just speaking, bro. It was not, nah, that shit was real. Nigga, get the fuck out of my face, nigga. You guys are so stupid. This shit is not that hard. And not that, that's not even all the proof that I used to, to explain this shit. It was actually shit that it was doing on here that they left evidence behind and shit. My mom left too much evidence behind and, and shit that made me obvious, okay? But yeah, that was that, you know what I'm saying? That's how I knew. But that connected with these niggas lacing me, trying to lace me, they was trying to, they told this bitch to try to lace me, nigga, and I was like, yo, what the fuck, and that bitch also tried to do some other demonic, evil ass shit to me, and I was like, well, what the fuck is going on, like, why the fuck would this bitch want to do some shit like that, nigga, you know what I'm saying, this bitch was trying to do some cruel, evil, humiliation shit to me, nigga, you know what I'm saying, some evil ass shit, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, the same bitch I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, in real life, that's what she tried to do to me. In real life, okay. Now, this is where this part gets the karma, and, and, and like that's proof. If you want to go search that video up, search up to see what I'm saying, like how to break out the handcuffs. But you can't do it because you have to go through that whole ritual. <laughs> so you have to go. One of them, one of them, they ask his, his family members do food and shit, nigga. You know I'm saying, I told you guys, I'm, I'm, I think his family. I don't know where his family members come from, the roots and shit. But I told you guys, like, from from even the ancient shit, because I told you guys I'm Liberian and Ivorian and shit. Nigga, Vaughn family members look like my people, nigga. They don't look like his daddy and his mom, them. They look like my his mom look like my, she could be one of my aunts and his dad look like he could be one of my uncles. So I'm saying that like, his family members look very much like my, so you know what I'm saying? I know I get it, he's black American shit. But that's why I was looking at these niggas, they look just like my people. So when... The, like even anciently, so I think the reason why they do voodoo and shit <laughs> probably because I told you guys I'm in Thoth the Atlantean, nigga. I've I proven that to myself. When I told you guys they brought Omex here and they built up the same shit here and they taught these niggas the same rituals and shit, the <laughs> same practicing shit. It was dope and then they learned that shit anciently, but that's not even the point that I'm trying to get to. Okay? Okay, so you guys get that now? You guys get the point that the storyline of what's going on with this bitch. But she tried to do some other evil shit afterwards, right? Now, here is how this shit is actually karma, okay? I later recently ended up finding out one of the, the nigga who, who took, the nigga family, it was, it was a younger brother who I was talking to in school, and his older brother told a bitch to try to lace me. You know what I'm saying? They was all in on this shit, though. And he had another brother. He, I think he had another brother or a cousin or some shit with them too, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I remember this nigga, every time I we used to get off the bus at school, he used to give me a look like, this nigga was like, looking at me like he was terrified of me or some shit, cause like how, he would just give me this look of just fear or something, I'm like this a look, nigga, it was like, it wasn't like, but I wasn't thinking anything of it, I, cause I did not, you think I would know some sh all of this shit that was gonna happen, I think I would know all this voodoo shit, and all that shit, no nigga, okay, cause at the time I didn't even believe any of that shit, you know what I'm saying, but when I found out, nigga, okay, later down in the future, I actually went to go and research. I searched up the brother name, and then I, I remember he says, why he gets, he got shot like this nigga, and that nigga, look, I ended up searching him up and finding out, yo, this nigga look exact, almost a lot like this other person. And then I also 
Um, I also, I also, uh, what's it called? I also found out that his brother, one of the brothers, died. You know what I'm saying? His brother died. <laughs> one of the brothers died, bro. I think he got killed or shot or some shit. But I was just laughing when I found that out. <laughs> you guys want to try lace niggas? And now you, you see what karma is? Karma caught one of the brothers, bro. He got killed, bro. I seen on their bio, and then I went on the other brother page, and they, there's no comments under that shit. I was dying, bro. So fuck that nigga who got shot and killed, and fuck the other brother who died, nigga. Fuck both of them. That's why they dead, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Because I actually felt bad about the other nigga until I found out this shit. Once he told me, yo, tell him why so-and-so, I was like, oh, this bitch-ass nigga was trying to do some shit to me. See what I'm saying? Some of y'all, like, a whole bunch of niggas been trying to do evil shit to me. Dude, it's not just these niggas. It was other niggas here, too, on, in this city. I be able to, who's literally hating on me for no reason. I couldn't even understand why. Like, what the fuck? And then there was also niggas there trying to lace me up. This not. That's just one family. There's other families in the same city that's trying to do the same shit. <laughs> and then I got ET niggas watching me. My family members thought they was protecting me. They don't even know anything about the ET niggas that's been watching me, too. They don't know shit. But this shit was hilarious. So that's what he gets. He got shot. Nigga, I hope they shot him in his fucking head, nigga. <laughs> I hope they got killed. I don't know how he got. I'm pretty sure he got shot, nigga. That's the only way you're finna die around this age. He's probably like 24, nigga. The only way you're gonna die is if you get shot. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, come on now. So he probably got smoked. And it's funny because that's what they get. You know what I'm saying? That's what he get. And I ended up seeing that same nigga again. <laughs> I, at a job, I was, I was working at like out of Walgreens for like for like four weeks or five weeks or some shit just to get some money nigga i end up quitting that shit because they had me cashier and i seen that same nigga that i seen in high school i seen him nigga and he he, he didn't want to say much to me but i was at the cashier and he was buying something i was like all right bro what's good bro? <laughs> and he left me like yeah bro all right and he left you know what i'm saying but i didn't really have this full confirmation until this 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 astro projection i just had you know what i'm saying I just asked you protection, okay? So, that's what happened. So, his brother died, okay? One of the brothers died, nigga, and that shit fine. So, that's karma right there, nigga. And then karma for the other nigga who got smoked by Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> karma for the other nigga who got smoked by... I told you guys this. I could jump into two different bodies using the ritual, but I'm not doing that shit. And Vaughn did the same shit. So, that nigga made sure he had jumped into the other body before he got snaked. <laughs> that's what I believe. Okay, but... But he still exists, at, and he's not like he's dying like the other body isn't around living. The other body is living, doing whatever the fuck he's doing. It's fully conscious, but he's at That's why I'm telling you, this nigga was most likely not from. He's an Anunnaki being. That's like myself. That's how I could just tell. And I was fucking with his music. Out of all the rappers that I listened to, I was fucking with his shit the most. You know what I'm saying? Because I just felt the energy. Because he reminded me a lot of myself. Not the fact that I'm going to go kill niggas. But I'm very arrogant and cocky in the way he was bragging about what he was doing in a, such an arrogant way. Reminded me a lot of myself, nigga. I'm like, yo, I, that's the same way I am. Now, I'm not going to go around doing all that shit he was doing. But with the shit that I like doing, I was very arrogant and cocky in doing that shit to the point it pissed a lot of niggas off. Nigga, you mad because I'm bragging about myself, nigga? What's wrong with that? You niggas is stupid. <laughs> But, but that was one karma. The second karma is with this bitch. I, I done seen this bitch. Nigga, this bitch was being mad, desperate. I guess back then, nigga, I guess back then she was getting feeling so good from the attention I was giving this bitch. She was feeling so good about it. And then I stopped fucking with this bitch, right? I stopped talking to her. I just cut her off and shit. I'm saying, I guess she, and then I seen this bitch at the, like the job that I got fired from because before I got arrested and the, the ones with the reptilians and shit. Yeah, that, that job. You know what I'm saying? She kept on coming in. Once she realized I was there, she kept on coming in there trying to get me to look at her, get her my attention. It's, and then that bitch didn't look the same. She looked completely... I, she just don't look like... Nobody want the bitch no more, nigga. Not that she's like completely ugly as fuck, but she... Like she... <laughs> bitch... The bitch just, she, she, she don't look the same no more, bro. Just know that, okay? She don't look the same no more. 
And I can tell nobody want her ass, okay? And the way she was looking, nigga, no nigga really won't want her ass, nigga. Not like that. No, they won't, nigga. She wasn't even all that, nigga. You really not. But now, nigga, what? Nah, stop it. Stop it. So karma already catching up to her ass, and I seen it with my own two eyes how she looked, nigga. And I was like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? This bitch don't look the same. Like, I was like, yeah. I was like ah, what the fuck happened to this bitch? I don't fuck with this bitch because she was trying to lace me and she also tried to do some evil shit. But this bitch was trying to be mad desperate for my attention at that job. To the point that there was another female co-worker there. And I'm like, yo, is this bitch keep looking at me? I was literally telling her this shit. Yo, I'm like, why? She's like, yeah, she keep looking at you, bro. Keep looking at you, Joe. I'm saying, I'm like, yo, bitch, she trying to come around me. I'm saying? And then, and then I, 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 I'm like, yo, just keep an eye because I just make sure that I really didn't want to come. I, I knew what the bitch was trying to do. I'm saying, I was just like, keep an eye away from me. Because at first, when I was there, I didn't even realize he was there. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize that he keep coming in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, yo, and I explained this shit. But the point I'm trying to say is the bitch is getting worse for her. And Carmen's already hand the bitch. You know what I'm saying? And also, other shit, like I said, I hate this bitch. Because she did some truly evil shit. And now, most of them is fucking this bitch brain up, nigga. You try to come back and get around niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why she kept on coming around, trying to get me to get my... No, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then this other karma, like I told you, like the mental karma that's actually affecting this same bitch, too. For trying to do what she was trying to do. Because I didn't do shit to nobody. See? That's why when I see that shit happens to me, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Why the fuck is this shit happening to me? Why are these evil people trying to do... Okay? So that was the other karma. It's already affecting this same bitch. Like, I don't want to go too deep into this shit because it just sounds like I'm being angry. But I am fucking angry, nigga. And I'm extremely happy. But it's not, I'm not satisfied yet. That's why I don't want to even like, go into it. Because I'm not done doing what I'm supposed to do. To completely shit on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the biggest number two, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What's that song? My sister, I don't fuck with my annoying ass sister, right? Because she's annoying as fuck, nigga. She's mad. She's fucking annoying. <laughs> she was actually enjoying what they was doing. To, they was literally crawling my ass when I was high as fuck. <laughs> In that state, I was like, I was delusional. I didn't really know what was going on, but they was trolling my ass. Her, her and my mom. That's why I don't really fuck with both of them. They're so annoying. I'm saying, but she was, she took pleasure the most. My older sister took more pleasure in annoying the fuck out of me. I'm saying, so, but she, she used to play this dumbass song, uh, not dumbass song, but she used to play Nicki Minaj a lot. And she's had that song called Shit It On Him or Did It On Him. That's that. I'm out of, I'm out of actually going to listen to that song. I don't give a fuck. I'm finna listen to that shit. (laughs) I'm finna listen. I'm going to watch that shit again because I remember that song when I was living. I used to tell this girl to take that shit off. Like, just take it. Because if you was younger, whoever had a remote, it's like they're going to put their shit on first. And then they're going to keep it on until a certain time or some shit. She would always play these female rappers and shit like that. And she put Nick Minaj. And I remember that song. She Nick Minaj had that song called Shit It On Him. Okay? I'm going to listen to that shit because that's what I'm going to do. I'm not done. I'm not satisfied, bro. I'm not even close to getting my revenge. Because this is just the mental karma that I'm seeing. That's how, that's what inspired me to tell y'all about that shit. This actual mental karma that's affecting this stupid bitch on a daily basis for fucking with a chosen one. And it's actually impacting her, her consciousness on a daily basis. That's why this bitch kept on coming in that same job. She will come in there without anything to buy. Just to keep trying to come in to see if I'm going to give her attention or some shit. Or something. Lay her away or some shit. Or try to say something. I'm not going to do any of that. But that's not enough for me. I'm gonna, I want to do what I'm supposed to do on this planet so I can destroy you, nigga. Okay, I'm that eerie. I'm not done. Okay? Guys, I'm not done, bro. Okay, I'm going to shit on you. Okay? But yeah. Okay? And that's that was the other karma. It's already affecting you, nigga. And the point I'm trying to say is you are supposed to be the karma. You know what I'm saying? You are supposed to be the karma. Okay? You are supposed to be the karma. It's not supposed to be anything bad happened to them. It's not supposed to be other people who's going to do the same shit that they did to you. No. It's simply you supposed to be the fucking karma, G. That's why I made this whole video. Because of what the fuck is going on. Everybody did. And that was just one situation. There was other niggas who were trying to lace me up too. And then they, one nigga got caught for some shit. And now he's in prison. He was crying like a bitch. Okay, then there was other niggas who got caught and shit. (laughs) 
is other niggas who just other people. And then I found out another nigga family member was trying to do like this shit was deep, bro. I can't even go too deep because I'm making too this shit too long. Okay? But you are the karma. Cause all these and then another nigga family member family came here. I guess they came here to stop me or some shit. Cause I can't go too deep into it, but his dad, one of the other nigga family member, dad died from an overdose, a drug overdose. And I believe that they came here straight because they that nigga hated my ass. Like I can just tell. You know what I'm saying. And yeah, he he dad died from a drug overdose, nigga. His dad died from a drug overdose. It's karma, and it was I knew it had something to do with me. You know what I'm saying. It, they do. I, I just know. The eyes. I already know from all the shit I've been experiencing. It was I had to do something with me because that. Like, I already know. It. I can't really explain because I'm not gonna make this shit too long. But it has nothing to do with me. So that's karma too. See what I'm saying? So karma is just hitting niggas, and it's it has to do with you, bro. You're the karma, and it's when you really activate on what you're doing on a superhuman shit level shit, and the supernatural shit you finna do, bro. You gonna be you guys. You guys gotta understand, bro. I know a lot of niggas keep gang stalking you. There's a lot of niggas gang stalking you, targeting you, nigga. That was just one example of the target shit that I, the story that I just explained was just one example. There was plenty of other niggas who've been targeting me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Another nigga, mom, auntie tried to use voodoo on me. Bro, this shit was crazy. And I ended up realizing, yo, this, bro, I, I, and once I seen that, I was like, yo, these niggas really be trying to do witchcraft. Not voodoo, but witchcraft. She was trying to use this shit was crazy. There was so many other shit that I could say, but I'm not really going to say because there's not too many time on this shit. But you are the karma. That's why I'm going to say, bro. That's why I'm making these videos to really tell y'all these things, bro. Because you really going to tap into your true potential on this planet. You really are. And you're going to fucking feel that shit. And it's going to really... Diff Some people really are going to have a, a crisis. Some people might commit suicide. Because of the imprint you're going to leave in their mind. Constantly in their living rent free in their head every day. That same bitch that did that shit to me. Is now cursed for life. And the curse has just begun. I noticed this shit. It's, it's, it's already affecting her mind every single day. Of what she was trying to do. She, like That was just one thing. This bitch did some other evil shit that I'm not even going to say. I'm just like you have to take some of that shit with you to your grave. Nigga. There's only a few other niggas that know, like, I'm pretty sure the E.T. nigga knows what she did. But yeah, nigga, they know all that shit that happened in my life. <laughs> they had my phone tapping at all, nigga. And I don't even care that they had my phone tapping because they actually protected me. But my family members are fucking annoying. Why are you fucking watching my shit? You're not any type of high vibrational being to be stalking my shit. You know what I'm saying? But did she, like, she did some other evil shit that I'm not going to say. I'm going to have to take that to my grave. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so when I tell y'all, y'all really gonna do this shit and get y'all fucking revenge on these people, really believe that and really take that shit seriously, nigga. All that shit that I said really is true, nigga. All that shit is real, nigga. When Vaughn did that shit, you could even search that video up if you don't believe me. Search of King Vaughn fighting, you go on Reddit or YouTube or, or uh, TikTok or whatever. You would see the nigga getting here, he would go and hide and try to break out his handcuffs. And then he would break out that bitch. Because everybody from that city who, who said it, it those, those handcuffs that they put you in, in that in that box with them niggas, those are like some super handcuffs that you can't break out of. They, that's why they have it like that, so that you don't fight. You know what I'm saying? So those handcuffs is very hard to break out of. That nigga broke out of it so easily. They thought he did some super savage shit. No, he did voodoo, okay? That's how he broke out that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you could see it. And I I did the same shit. The nigga literally taught me how to do it. He told me to put one thumb down and put another thumb up while my hand was behind my back. And I did that shit. And I was like, ah, this shit, my, my chain, the, the, the cuffs started getting tight. I'm going to have to delete this shit that, but in the future. But, I, you know, I'm going to say it now because I don't got that many views. And the ET niggas already know that I did this shit. They was literally there watching my family members act like fucking clowns. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, my family members didn't even know that they was being there with ET niggas. But I was doing that, and the handcuffs started getting tight as fuck. My hands behind my back, the handcuffs getting tight. I'm like, ah, shit. And I broke out that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I looked at my hand. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Once I did that, the shit got tight. It started squeezing my wrist. Then it just snapped easily. You know what I'm saying? So it was, that's how the fuck this nigga did this shit. Okay? So 
when I tell y'all, y'all really finna do so. Why do you think these niggas? And that's just one story, scenario. I told you, there's plenty of niggas in the city who cannot stand my ass. Who really want to see, like, some of these, these niggas literally wanted to see me dead. These niggas literally was celebrating when I was in jail, when I, when they seen the article on the news. They were like, let's fucking, oh, this nigga going to prison. Like, that's how these niggas was thinking. So a lot of these niggas, I do want to, I want to see them and really hurt them, but I know I can't because if I do that shit, it's over for me. I can't even, t I can't do anything. I can't get over there because I'm going, I'm already going to be on probation. And not just that, like, it just, I'm not even, like, it, I can't do shit, Okay. But to see the, the amount of hate, I ended up learning the amount of hate because my sister was saying some shit when I was in there about these niggas hating. Certain niggas was, was hating and shit on certain things I was doing. I'm saying, but whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit is, that shit, that's it. So when I tell y'all, y'all, when y'all get there, nigga, you're going to be there karma. When y'all get there, shit on them. Play Nicki Minaj, nigga. Play, I don't give a fuck if she's a bitch. Play Nicki Minaj and play that song, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Play that song and, and really take the shit on them, nigga. I'm not being humble. That's why you guys think I, I, I preach being arrogant. Why do you guys think I'm not? There's no fucking room for being humble. When these niggas was... You got niggas trying to lace niggas for no reason. I don't know y'all. And it connects with my name and where I was from. They already knew, a lot of niggas already knew about that shit. That's how they knew to target my ass. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys are some targeted individuals, and you will be targeted. Not just by humans, reptilians, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And when you get your time, you all shit on it. You know what I'm saying? And if these reptilians try to stop my purpose on this earth, when I activate on some supernatural shit, I'm really going to torture them. Nigga, I'm going to slowly torture y'all. So, y'all better stay out of my way. You know what I'm saying? So, guys... You are the karma, and it, the time is coming. They already in your, you already in their mind constantly. It's only the chosen one that the, that's affecting these people's mind because we are on another level, on a cosmic realm. Okay, I wish I could make this video longer. You know what I'm saying, but you know I gotta, I gotta end it because it's getting too long. But we on another level spiritually, so it's gonna fuck people up. That's why you're in their mind. The other people aren't in their mind, bro. They keep thinking about what they did to you. Some of them are actually regretting some of this shit. Yeah. They're not regretting it, but their high self is fucking them up and sending out emotional frequencies through their body like guilt, shame, self-hate, self-being honest with themselves. But they keep rejecting, like, no, 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 it's not me. Uh, they they, they should have never did that. No, they, it's their fault. They're trying to come up with any reason, like that bitch is trying to come up with any reason in her head. You know what I'm saying? To try to not take accountability for how evil of a person you are. And how much of a bitch you are. And how much of a dark, fake, evil, demonic human being you are. Okay? So that's what's really going on on this planet. Okay? That's really what's going on. And y'all got to realize this shit and you are the karma. Okay? Not just with the death shit. A lot of people die because of you. Okay? And a lot of bad shit happened because of you. But not just that, the good shit you're going to do is really the shit that's going to eat their soul away. The powerful shit you're going to be on this on the earth with your purpose and also supernatural shit, it's going to eat their spirit away. It's gonna, they're going to die. Literally, some people are going to literally die, drink themselves to death, intoxicate themselves to death out of depression because they, they hate to see you win. <laughs> some people who's going to drink too much alcohol and actually die because of it. Because they hate to see wind. There's too many people who want to start popping Percocets, Xanaxes, and too much shit because they wish they're like, oh my God, I, I can't feel this spray no more and overdose. Because your light is going to hate, make them hate so much. Just think about it. You don't got shit right now. You know, some of you guys, let's be real, half y'all niggas, like 90% of y'all, like, I'm watching, like, True Toes one of the broke as fuck. Broke as fuck, nigga. Let's be real, nigga. <laughs> A lot of y'all niggas broke as shit. <laughs> You, even back then, you was even worse. You don't got nothing, nigga. You don't got shit. You don't got nothing. And these niggas hating on you this much? It's your light, nigga. It's your light and your potential and where you're supposed to go. They already know all that shit on the acid plane. They spirit high self know it. And the high self telling you, them like, yo, this nigga really finna do this shit. You know that? <laughs> but their low self like, no. I want to humiliate. I want to stop the spirit. I want to humiliate them. I want to tear them down. You can do all that shit, but you can't kill me. You can't kill me. You can't do shit to me.
I'm going to complete my mission on this planet. And you're going to have to sit back and watch. You're going to be held tight. And you're going to have to sit there and watch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you're a little... I'm going to end it off like this. It's like when you're a little kid. And like you're fighting with your brother and shit. Like your brother hit you or some shit. Unfairly. And then you you start crying to your mom or some shit. And then they grab your little brother. And then they say, no, you hit them back. And you hit them back. And now they're crying, but they can't do shit to you. Because they're getting held back by your parents. Like, no, nigga, you're not hitting them. You know what I'm saying? And now they're looking at you mad, crying and shit, with tears in their eyes and shit. Man, why are you saying they laughing and playing on your iPad or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this is what's going to happen, okay? Guys, just understand that, okay? And don't be... You got to really... This, guys, what you got to do after this video? Sit down and turn off your phone real quick. And just think, like... Just think, like... I really must be the shit. Like, think about, like... Just think about this shit, like... Who the fuck am I for you guys? I must be a powerful being for y'all all to hate on me like this, nigga. For y'all to try to stop me and shit. For all this gang stalking, all this talking shit, all this. What the fool am I? Who the fuck am I? Really think about that shit real quick, okay? Think about that shit. Think about that. Really turn your phone off right now and think about that shit, bro.